Hi, I'm Donna. Welcome to my craft room. To, uh, today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different. Um, I've seen a challenge going around called the Blindfold Challenge. Uh, Distinctive Crochet is the latest video I've watched, and that one really inspired me. This lady was brave enough to start from the very beginning doing the change. I've, I've seen some who've already had it and then just went ahead and, and uh, worked on a something that was already started. So, uh, And she said anyone that wanted to do it could. And uh, so she's challenging everybody. Uh, I went and looked at the very first lady and it was blind stitch creations and it's the hashtag blindfold challenge uh this sweet lady lost her sight about four years ago and uh she's found it challenging to learn how to do things without her sight and my parents taught me don't judge anyone unless you've walked a mile in their shoes. That's an old saying. But basically is you don't know what someone else is going through, what challenges they are facing, what hardships they have in their life. So it's it's not too good to judge people. And um, <clears throat> as far as walking in someone's shoes, I feel if you have the opportunity to... Uh, see what someone else is going through or experience it would be better yet then that's something that's a good experience to have so you have some sort of idea what these blind people are going through my husband uh, works has a blind friend and he, and he does uh, he works for him you know he's a handyman so he, he does a bunch of different people, a bunch of different things, but this is one friend in particular he's been working with for years and years and years. So, I have just a sliver of an idea of uh, some of the challenges he faces. And I just thought, this was just so cool, I couldn't pass it up, I've got to do it. And I challenge every one of you, whatever you do try it blindfolded just to see what it's like especially if, if even if you don't have a channel try it if you have a channel make a video in fact there is one person i i would love to see this and that's my doppelganger's granddaughter Jeannie at butterfly dreams crochet she's been crocheting nearly as long as i have so i'd like to see her do it now I know that I can uh, do granny square and corner to corner without looking, but we're just going to try it. So let's go ahead. I've done been talking three minutes, almost four. Let's go ahead and get started. I got my blindfold here. If you're interested, I got this at Old Navy. Good price. So we're going to put it up over my eyes and down over my chin. See if we can't find a happy medium. There we go. Okay, now I got to find my. I'm using an eye hook, and this is some of my uh, yarn I'm using for the luck of the draw. I done lost it. There, that's it. Make sure I've got everything. It is a whole lot harder when you can't see what you're doing. Because normally I have it started. I don't even know which way my hook's facing. There we go. Found it. Now that's what I'm going to do and I want to do a chain of two because that's usually how I do with my double crochet. 
I'm probably going into the wrong spot. Like Priscilla said, that part is easy. It's just finding the hole that is difficult. Sorry about my dog, the mailman is running out there. Oops, got a hold of my earphones, that was unexpected. Now, I don't skip a stitch. I normally just chain, chain two and go into the very next one. Hmm. It feels very different by blindfolded. I may have caught the same stitch there. doesn't feel like I'm getting in the right spot. It feels like I'm going in between them. This will be very interesting to see how I did. Okay, that's the last one. That's not too awful bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think that's a win. Now, recording the video, I don't know how I did, but in a pinch, I could do it. Something more complicated? Probably not. Yeah, see, right, right here I went in in between and didn't get the stitch. And I think I messed up on um, this one here. Looks From this side, it looks like I messed up. See there? And there. But not too bad. Uh, still a lot of respect for... Um, there's one blind lady that has chicken in her name. And I can't for the life of me. Rearney chicken? No? Well, anyway, uh, new respect for the ladies who uh, absolutely have to do it and can't take off their blindfolds at the end of it. Uh, so, yeah, give it a try. See what you can do. Even if you don't make a video, just give it a try. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll see you again on Saturday. Until then, take care and remember to love one another. Bye-bye.